G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Your Song by Elton John. Now for the basics of this song, you will need your guitar in standard tuning and you will need a capo on the first fret of your guitar. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve any guitar in general, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. So I'm going to start by teaching you the strumming pattern that we can basically use throughout the whole song, which is really simple. It just goes like this, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now let's demonstrate that with the D chord, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now what I like to do with this strumming pattern as well is you don't have to strum every single string of a chord when you're doing this strumming pattern like this. You can add a bit more dynamic to it by just plucking individual notes or one or two strings for a particular direction of strumming. So down, down, up, up, down, up. So notice how instead of strumming all the strings, the motion of my picking hand is just hitting one or two strings. So down, down, up, up, down, up. It's a lot more subtle and you can really strip back the song by doing that. And then in heavier parts of the song, you can strum all the strings. So anyway, enough of that strumming pattern. We're going to basically use that throughout the whole song. But there's just a quick tip for you. So the intro slash break is simple. It's just D, G, and then A, and then back to G. I like to play my A by just barring my index finger across the fourth, third, and second strings on this second fret. But you can play it like this as well. So the intro slash break just sounds like this. Next we get to verse part one. Now verse part one has four lines of chords. And we start with a D, then we go to a G, then we go to A, and then an F sharp minor. So from this A, I already have my index finger barred, so I just take my ring and pinky and put them on the fourth frets of the fifth and fourth strings. And ideally you can reach your thumb over the top to hit the second fret of the sixth string. And then we have an F minor like that. Or you can play a regular F minor bar chord like this if you want to. So that's the first line of chords. Then we have the second line of chords, which is a B minor, a B minor slash A. So just lift your index finger and focus on the fifth string, the open fifth string being your bass note. And then we have a B minor slash G sharp. So keep your ring and pinky finger where they are. Take your middle finger, put it on the fourth fret relative to the capo on the sixth string. And your index finger here will go on the third fret of the second string. So that's B minor slash G sharp. And you want to just keep that fifth string muted whilst you're hitting that chord. And then finally, we have G major seven. So keep your ring and pinky finger where they are. Middle finger goes on the third fret of the second string and then index finger goes on the third fret of the sixth string and again keep that fifth string muted so that's G major 7 so that second line of chords then the third line of chords is D A F sharp major so instead of f sharp minor we're actually going to put your middle finger down onto the third fret relative to the capo of the third string so that's f sharp you can play f sharp like this as well but i like doing it like that because it's an easy transition from that a and then we have b minor and then for the fourth line of chords it's d e minor seven g and then two strumming patterns on the A. So that's it for verse part one, which sounds like this all together.
So that's it for verse part one. Now verse part two is basically identical except with the last two chords. Instead of going to an A, we're going to a D. So nothing new to learn there for verse part two. Then we get to the chorus, which is comprised of three lines of chords. We start with the A slash C sharp. So play the A with your index finger barring, and then with your ring finger, just hit the fourth fret of the fifth string. And we're just focusing on those middle four strings. So that's A slash C sharp. Then we have B minor, E minor seven, and then G. That first line of chords is played through twice. For our second line of chords, it's B minor, that B minor slash A, the B minor slash G sharp, and then G6. So to play a G6, it's the same as a G chord, except we just lift our ring and pinky finger. So it's just these top two strings and everything else is open. So that chord is strummed and held out. And then for the final line of chords, it's D, E minor, G and A for two strumming patterns. Those first three chords for the third line tab, the D, E minor and G, are just strummed and held out for the bar. They're not actually strummed for the strumming pattern. So in total, the chorus sounds like this. So that's it for the chorus. The final thing we need to learn is the outro, which is pretty simple. The first line of chords is the same as the second line of chords in the chorus. So it's that B minor, B minor slash A, B minor slash G sharp, and then G6. And then the second line of chords is D, E minor, G, and then D. And then we kick back in with the strumming pattern. And we're gonna play that D for four strumming patterns, and then we just end the song with another D. So it's pretty simple, that outro. And those are all the parts you need to learn. The structure goes intro, then verse part one, verse part two, chorus, then there's a break, then we go verse part one, verse part two, another chorus, and then there's the outro, and that's it. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice playing along to and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.